Yo, what's going on UFC 2 Fight fans? This is your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to a UFC 2 Ultimate Team video. Today we're going to be going over attributes. Now, in UFC 2's Ultimate Team, attributes are a key. If you do not upgrade your attributes, your fighter will never fight at his top potential. But, if you upgrade your fighter the wrong way, he will never be good at what he's supposed to be good at, or she. So, what that means is, for me, I'm a boxer. It's all about movement, hand power, kick power, kick speed, and hand speed. And also blocking, because sometimes I'm in those toe-to-toe -to -toe battles with other fighters, and if I don't have the superior striking game, I can get knocked out at any given time. So, remember guys always upgrade what you're good at so if you're a fighter that's good at going to the ground and using submission always upgrade your ground and submission don't worry about striking too much maybe you can leave it like moderate whereas though you have pretty good striking to stand on your feet like if you want to shoot a jab and then shoot for a takedown if you're that type of fighter you don't have to upgrade your joints to you know trying to use like four star strikes and stuff like that so remember whatever fighter you create Make sure you work on those attributes for that creative fighter. Now, before I get out of here, I want to let you guys know that when upgrading stuff for striking, and I've had this problem, is I do get a big, big drop in things that I may need defensively. So, if I want to have, like, better movement or, you know, better striking speed, I get a hit in, like, takedown defense or... I might get a hit in like clinch defense or I might get like a big hit in submissions. Now, I tend not to let the fight get to the ground and, you know, let me get submitted. But if it does happen, your boy will get submitted and it will look ugly. But this is IKC signing out. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next one.